Hello everybody, Eli's here and welcome to another video. Join me to cut uh, four loaves of uh, Moroccan clay soap. This soap is a combination between essential oils of uh, forest and the Moroccan clay and lots of cedarwood essential oil which uh, comes from Morocco also the clay, the Moroccan clay is Moroccan so it's a Moroccan soap after this video I will delete the making video of this soap because it was in the beginning when I start making the, the soap and I uh, put too much clay in um, don't, I don't want you to take an example from uh, this video As I told you, some of my videos, I uh, made a mistake to making the video the first time I made the soap. So I really consider delete some of them. So this soap is, uh, maybe it uh, look very uh, beautiful, especially with the stump of the, of the tree, which we can, by the way, uh, corny this tree, but in this uh, soap, it looks, it looks nice, it, do it doesn't look so corny, in my opinion. This is the first sample. Samples I give to customers who buying lots of soaps together. I'm not making discounts almost at all. Because I earn my living from this business almost now. And I'm on the way to earn fully my, my living from this. Uh, if I make discounts, then every return customer will want bigger and bigger discounts. And uh, one customer will ask why this customer got the discount and I'm not. That's why I, I don't like this at all. My rates are affordable to begin with. Consider the ingredients I'm using that essential oils are much more expensive than fragrances. And I'm using only cold pressed oils. So uh, what I want to tell you, although this uh, soap looks very, very nice, as you see, it's not the most popular. It sells, it sells, but it's not the most popular because of the scent. The woodsy forest scent is not appealing to every nose, but it's okay. And I like this smell very, very much. It's more masculine scent but lots of women also taking it women sorry
Here's another sample. So if you see my video, if you have seen my video how to make bigger batches, now I got a bigger pot, a present for my mother, and uh, gradually I will understand how much this uh, pot could contain. I hope to go 6,000 or 7,000 uh, grams, 6 or 7 kilos oil weight. This will solve my uh, problem of the dead sea mud soaps that are popular and I need to make them every, I don't know, sometimes two weeks and it's not enough. So it's good, but it's not good, good business-wise. Cannot make only one soap. I need to make other soaps also. And my time to make the soap is limited. I will keep you updated. Last loaf. And uh, you soapers are out there that are not successful online, no matter what you do, I really suggest you will find local market. Go to the people, go to the street. To be successful online, it's kind of a mission. It could be done, but it's not as easy as it looks like. And in the street, when a customer or in the market likes, likes your uh, product, they buy immediately. Okay, this, uh, these are the last pieces. They will be in my Etsy shop in three weeks. About three weeks I will uh, open them for sale. You can look uh, for other shops meanwhile. Hope to see you in another video. Bye, Hila. I will uh, open them for sale in my Etsy shop in uh, about three weeks. Till then, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't have uh, them in stock. You can uh, look for other shops. I will add a link below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye, Hila.